Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So after more than a month, Microsoft has finally released a new build to the Canary Channel Insiders, which is preview build 27718, which rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 2nd of October. Now, because um, the Canary Channel hasn't received a new build in the last couple of weeks, there's quite a lot going on. So if you are interested in what's new in this build, just a quick overview as to what Microsoft is working on in this early preview build. Now, this first one isn't really new, um, and some of these features have actually made their way into the stable version of Windows 11 already, where they've updated the lock screen, so the media controls will now show at the lower bottom center of the lock screen. Now, when media is being played, and I'm not going to get too much into that, we've covered that uh, quite in depth on the channel previously. And then the next one is the start menu. This has also made its way to stable, where you can now drag apps from the pin section and pin them to the taskbar. So that's also rolling out across the board. And this next one is also quite a common visit on the channel where they've made some updates to the new account manager on the start menu, making the sign out option directly visible, which I think is a nice small little significant update. And that's due to um, user feedback. And the next couple I'm just going to mention, um, they've updated the taskbar to now support first letter, na first letter navigation. So when the keyboard focus is set to the taskbar using Win and T, so that's your Windows key and T, if you look here at the bottom here by my taskbar, you can now press a letter. So as an example, I'm going to press F for Firefox. And there we go, it jumps uh, to the open or pinned app whose name starts with that letter. So that's more or less what that is all about. And then notifications has received an option to turn off the suggestions to disable notifications from certain apps. So if you do get a notification popping up here to the uh, bottom right of your um, taskbar, you can now press the three dotted menu within that notification to disable the notification. And that's also rolled out to the stable. And then they're also working on some minor UI changes to simplify the window share window, which removes the search box. And then they've also made several changes to improve the performance of narrator scan mode. Apparently, this is expected to make scan mode responses much quicker, especially while using Microsoft Edge and reading through large documents. So I think that's a nice accessibility improvement, which I'm always in favor for. And then Energy Saver, this is also rolled out to Windows 11 24H2. If we head to our settings and we head to System, Power and Battery, the old uh, Battery Saver is now Energy Saver. So what's happening here is if this is turned on, what's going to happen um, for laptops and battery, a notification will pop up asking you to plug in your laptop if the battery reaches 20% uh, while Energy Saver is set to always on. So it'll, when it gets to 20% um, and you've always got the toggle always on, that's going to be a notification telling you you need to plug in your laptop or battery, which I think is one of those little small under the hood treatments, which is a step forward as far as I'm concerned. And now when it comes to Windows Update, just going to mention this, they've also made an improvement where they've made some small design improvements to the dialogue that opens if there's something that needs your attention before proceeding with a Windows update. For example, if more space is needed or there's a compatibility issue, this includes updating the icon sizes and spacing. So I think that's a nice, small, significant change where you could get a little prompt if there's more space needed for that update, so it can save you a lot of headaches by the update failing, or if there is a compatibility issue. So I actually think that's a very small um, move in the right direction, as I would say, on the channel. And then we get some fixes, because obviously it's still early days, and because it is still early days in the Canary channel, we get a couple of known issues, which is expected. And then we get a Microsoft Store update, which I think is a nice move. And you'll see why, because the apps page 
on the Microsoft Store will now show a new categories experience just under the featured section. So you've got all these categories here, photo and video, entertainment, utilities, business, music, creativity, and so on. So clicking on any of the options will lead you to a page where you can browse a variety of apps for that category. And that's rolling out to the Canary and the Dev channels. And then the last one for this video is another one that's also rolling out across all Insider channels where uh, the update to the clock app now includes two new clock widgets, countdown and timer. And I have posted on this previously, but what we're looking at here is the new countdown and timer widgets from the clock app showing on the widgets board. So guys, that's uh, give or take what's uh, new in the Canary channel. As mentioned, uh, that's the first build in more than a month, build 27718 that has finally started rolling out to the Canary channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.